Hi friends, today I'm going to walk through AWS serverless architecture to deploy your website. These are the design considerations to host your web application or web services or your database. So please go through my other video which is called design consideration to host web apps uh, to get more clarity on this. Let us see what is serverless architecture to host your web application. So I'm assuming that you are going to use your application on web client and mobile client, maybe as an app. So to host your web application, you need to have some space or hosting service, which is going to be Elastic Beanstack on AWS. Elastic Beanstack is main service or serverless feature, which manages the backups, auto scaling, high availability, security and other features so you don't need to worry any of those the next one is root 53 so if you have to expose a domain or you want to serve your website through a domain then you have to use a root 53 so root through root 53 you can register your domain or you can also depend on third parties such as godaddy and then configure your domain here through root 53 and the next one is you, if you want to enhance your security, you can use the application firewall on top of your website. So assume that you're going to have some kind of images and videos in your website, which is the best place. You can either launch it on Elastic Beanstack itself, or you can also use a S3 bucket to launch your images, videos, and such kind of resources. So which is the best way to store uh, your images or videos or any heavy data? Definitely the S3 bucket because Elastic Beanstalk is going to be expensive. Uh, S3 is a cheaper option to store such kind of things. Better you reserve Elastic Beanstalk space to host your web application related code, web services related code or any important uh, resources required to access from the code. The next one is database. So you can select uh, either SQL databases or no SQL databases. If you are choosing some SQL databases, RDS is a managed option to host your SQL server or MySQL uh, or PostgreSQL type of databases. And it is again managed services. You don't need to worry about uh, uh, scalability, high availability, security, upgradations, all those stuff. The next one is like mobile client. So if you want to access your data, you can't directly access from the mobile client. Hence, you need some kind of web services. So if you have already built web services, that web services can be again hosted by using Elastic Beanstack uh, rather than using some kind of VMs. Serverless architecture is very simple and straightforward and very easy to manage the resources as well. Let us have a quick look on the different type of architecture by using EC2 instances. So when you use EC2 instances, you need to manage those EC2 instances in terms of the upgrading, scaling, high availability and all those stuff. You also need to use CloudWatch to monitor whether your server, servers are up and running. If they are not running, then you need to enable your SNS to notify to the particular email IDs. You also need to worry about your backups. So you need to use S3 to uh, take regular backups from the EC2 instances and from your database as well. You also need to worry about your elastic load balancing. So you need to configure the elastic load balancer so that the traffic uh, will balance here. So to get more clarity on this uh, architecture, please go through my video. You will get to know about uh, many more details about this architecture. Thanks for watching my videos.